Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back from 180 Studios video. This is MMD from A to Z, a course that will help you get started with MMD. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the interpolation curve. Now, this is a very hard topic to comprehend and I won't blame you for skipping it. So, the interpolation curve is one of MMD's most powerful tools that it has in its arsenal because it allows you to sometimes dramatically edit your animations. It affects the frames behind. Yes, behind. And it is read from left to right. Motion is vertical and time is horizontal. You drag two points to alter the line that goes through the middle of the tab. The line is important, not the two points. And also, the interpolation curve affects keyframes, not bones. To make it easier to understand, let me demonstrate. So, I made the motion of 100 frames. And added this interpolation curve. And this is how you read it. Almost the entirety of your motion will play at the first half of the time. Remember, motion and time. Now, let's play it. As you saw, the motion played very fast at the beginning, and then it slowed down at the end, just as intended. This is because the first half of the motion is just squished down and it has to play in such a small amount of time. That was an extreme example, so let's slow down a little. Now, let's try to read the default interpolation curve. The middle part of your motion will play at the middle part of the time, in our case at frame 50. Not only you can see it visually, but you can also see it when scrolling through the timeline. Same goes for the other curve. Here is a little tip. You can come down with your mouse, like this, to see at which part of the time your part of the motion will play. You can pause if you need more time to look at the graphs on the screen. This is kind of like the graphs you used to make uh, in math class. At the end of the day, this is just timing. The interpolation curve allows you to smooth your motions out and time them properly. And there you go, it is that easy to read, rearrange, edit, and understand the interpolation curve. After all of these years, I finally solved these mysteries. The key to using the interpolation curve is probably knowing how to read it. The graphs that I just showed will help you the most. They will also be in the description down below. I really hope that I helped you and I hope you managed to understand something. Remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and if you want to make me happy, consider subscribing. It's 100% free. Thanks for watching and remember, in the next video you'll learn how to save all of your work for safekeeping and reusing because you can reuse motions and poses in MD. See you in the next one.